Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? As you can see from the opening clip, I had a fall from my bike uh, from an early morning ride. Uh, I was I was just not paying attention. It was this big pothole and I went across it and I flew. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, my knee took the worst of it. Uh, I had the usual road rash. So now I know how the Tour de France rider feels. <laughs> anyway, today in this video, I want to revisit a, a guitar that I truly love. Uh, from Harley Benton, no less. This is the CST 2018 back in 2018 in the early part of June. Uh, this was my second electric guitar uh, from Harley Benton. Of course the first one was the Black Paisley Tallycaster, which I simply adore because of the quality of the of the of this whole guitar, you know, which has subsequently swapped the pickups to Seymour Duncan's Hot Tally uh, pickups. Uh, well this guitar um, when it first arrived, I was actually quite impressed with the quality. Of course, it's, a, it's like a, a copy of the PRS you know, model, um, and a fraction of a cost, of course. And I was impressed with the flame top, this beautiful flame top, and the overall quality of it. This is made in Vietnam, and um, it has the HAF Roswell pickups, which I did not change. It's still there, stock, which I love.
This guitar has a mahogany body, mahogany set in neck, um, basic uh, tremolo system from uh, Wilkinson. These are the you know the, the Ryan Emil Wilkinson uh, tremolo bridge, but it stays in tune. I had the um, the tuners uh, change to an old uh, spretzo that I have lying around from my very X, my old very X guitar. So I. So I kind of lyst it and put it on here uh, to help, you know, to help the tuning stability of this guitar. The guitar actually stays pretty much in tune even without the spec soles. But you know, I just wanted uh, something to kind of like counterweight. This is like body heavy. You know, the body is really heavy. This is made of mahogany, so it tends to go this way. I just wanted something to kind of like counteract, you know, counterweight the guitar. Um, the pickups are stock because I changed the uh, the brackets to black today. This afternoon I just did it uh, all by myself. Hmm, pretty proud of myself. <laughs> and uh, it has split coil. I changed the volume knob to the the wooden type, which I think I got this from uh, Toman too. And uh, I intend to put in a treble bleed uh, circuit into a resistor into my into my circuit, you know. And uh, that would uh, complete the any modifications that I planned for this guitar because I liked it as it is. The stock pickups really work great with this guitar. Uh, it plays really well. This is one of the fastest neck that I ever played before. And of course, I shave it down. Or well, not really shave it. Down. I just took out the lacquer, a lot of it. As you can see, it's like you know, it's a bit blur, a bit matte. Um, I had a video about this too. Uh, if you want to check it out. I uh, spent an afternoon doing this for three guitars. You know. So the fretboard is made of Jabota. I don't know what wood is that, but uh, it's okay. It's pretty, pretty nice. I believe these are like you know, are silver nickel uh, frets, medium jumbo. Yeah, and that's about it. So um, split call. Yeah, the only thing lacking about this is the split call. Uh, the volume differences between the humbuckers and the split coils are pretty uh, great, you know. And apart from that, everything works well. The humbucker sounds great. So I hope uh, you enjoy me revisiting this guitar again. And uh, if you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, press that bell if you want to be notified of any videos that come out in the future. So you guys take care in the meantime. And if you are a rider like me or a cyclist like me, ride safe. <laughs> okay. So till the next time, ciao.